Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. I wanted to, in this video, talk about my Sephora haul and what I recommend and don't really recommend from what I got. A lot of these gifts I got at the store because it was my birthday last weekend. Uh, so I have a lot of new things from buying things at the store and, and trying them on and talking to the workers there. But I also got a lot of things online because my sister also gave me a gift card to Sephora. So I was able to purchase a lot of new things as well on a Sephora site that I don't really know about. So I'm going to be talking about everything or almost everything that I got and what I recommend and don't recommend for my purchases. To start, I'm going to talk about the stuff that I got in the store. One of my favorite things that I've purchased is this so this is uh gosh sis pair or something i don't really i can't pronounce words very well um but it's tiger s color correction treatment <laughs> you just put a little bit in your hand and then you kind of put it everywhere and it color corrects your face and it helps the bagginess under the eyes and I found this to be working really well and I'm very glad that I purchased this. I think retail, retail price, it was like $52 or something, but I haven't really used a whole lot and it does, does come with a lot in here. So I think I would purchase this again for the next time just because I really like what it's doing to my face so far. My next purchase that I got in the store was this Better Than Sex Mascara. And it's really, really nice. And I, at first, I wasn't going to even buy mascara. Um, but my friend was actually buying all these gifts for me in the Sephora store. So I asked her what her favorite mascara was. And she said it was the Better Than Sex one. So I applied it. And you can kind of tell right here, I'm wearing it on. So this is kind of like what it looks like. I think it works really well. It doesn't clutter my eyelashes at all. It's very individual um, and I think it stands out and I think this is like amazing. I would definitely recommend this mascara. I think instead of buying, like I've brought a lot of mascaras in the past and I've bought a lot of expensive mascaras, specifically ones from like Tyra Banks and just like really expensive unnecessary ones, but I think this one has been my favorite. I'm wearing black right now. My next product that I want to talk about that I bought in the store was this um, blender, this beauty blender. So I'm not like totally into contouring and I don't really know like what it is really, um, but I bought this so that I can kind of test it out and figure out how to contour and figure out um, what works well and kind of just test it out. And so far I really like it. It was pretty inexpensive um, and I think putting on my foundation and putting on um, the correct the corrector and a little bit of the contour that I did purchase, I think it blended very well and I'm very happy with this purchase as well. The last purchase that I got at the store was this eyeliner. I usually get brown eyeliner because it works well with blue eyes and blonde hair or blondish hair. Um, and I also asked one of my best friends what she usually uses because she loves Sephora and she has like tons of Sephora stuff. So I asked her what her favorite eyeliner was, and I was like, I hate eyeliner, and I'm so bad at it. And she was like, this stuff is awesome. Um, it's the Stila Stila Dark Brown, and you open it like this, and so it's just like this pen, like that. And then when you write on it, it's, it's very smooth. It's also um, waterproof liquid eyeliner. So this will not go off when you start, I don't know why we'd start crying, but if you started crying or if you jump into a pool or if you had like a really exhausting day and someone did make you cry, this would still hang on there. I wore this at a party two days ago and it was still, this also talks about how I don't shower every day, <laughs> but this was still on my face today because I had like a super hangover yesterday, so I didn't want to shower, and then today, obviously, I did shower, and the eyeliner was still on my face, so this does last a long time, and I do really like this. Um, I just need to get 
better at putting eyeliner on me. <laughs> I think I did like, oh, so well, wait. I don't know if you can even see that. And I think there are like those weird like template things you can put on your eyes and I do wanna invest in that sometime, but I just haven't done that yet. So now the stuff that I got online, um, I had a $50 gift certificate and then I also got like three add-ons and then I also got a birthday gift. So I got kind of like a lot of stuff. So I'm just gonna talk about like the main purchases that I got there. So to talk about the whole like contouring thing, I really wanted to start contouring. So I got this. Um, so it has the highlighter, it has a contour, and then it has the bronzer. And um, I probably wouldn't buy this again, especially for like starting off. When I opened it, like, it's very hard to like actually apply it on your, I mean obviously you use a, use a brush, but it's all powder base. You really have to put the brush on there to actually get anything on your face. And so I think my next uh, contour purchase will probably just be uh, the ones that you can just apply it like liquidy or like whatever, whatever that stuff is. So I think I'll do that next time. I probably wouldn't buy this again. My next uh, purchase that I got online was this luminizing booster. Um, I do really care about my skin and I feel like I want to um, try out different skin cares so that I can find the perfect one for my skin and make it look really well. This one had a lot of reviews so I was very excited to use it but the reviews were all like you'll see results in like 10 days or you'll see results in 15 days or whatever so um, this is only like my third day of using it and I guess I think it's just supposed to like radiate your face and like make it brighter and healthier um, and look better but you won't see the results the next day you'll see the results if you do this like every day to your face for like I think two weeks um, I think it was like 80 or 90 percent of the people that did the test did see the results when you open it it's like in this thing that you just like squeeze so they say um, to do like three or four drops and put it on your face so that's what I did my next in-store purchase was this mask. Um, again, with the whole, I really want my face to be clean and look healthy and look nice and smooth and everything. So I got this skincare instant revitalization mask. Um, you just apply a thin layer onto your face and you leave it for three to five minutes and then you wash it off. Um, so I, I think you only do it like two or three times a week. And I really do like masks, so I definitely wanted to try this out. I think I've only worn this twice, though. So, like, I don't really have a whole lot to judge it by, but I really hope, I hope it works, and I hope it is working. My next purchases that I got online um, were these exfoliating brushes, sponges. Um, and I really, again, with a whole cleaning face and everything, I really want to try exfoliating. So, um, I do have exfoliating, I had a sponge in there from Walmart, and then I had um, an exfoliating lotion, uh, face cream or whatever, I don't know, some kind of exfoliating thing. Um, but I wanted to try this because I guess um, it's inside of this brush, so you don't even need anything, you can just scrub it on you, and it'll, that's how you do it. Um, so that really interested me. And it was also, pretty much all of these were clearance items, so that's why I had so many to choose from and to get. It came in a two pack, and I think this is green tea and this might be lavender or something. And they're really, really soft. Like sometimes I don't even know if it's working because it's just like so soft of a sponge that you can, like it doesn't hurt you at all. You just like, I don't know. I don't feel like anything's actually coming out onto my face when like ex I don't feel exfoliated or anything it's just like a basic sponge so sometimes I just put my exfoliating cream face cream on here and then I just use it that way because I haven't really experienced anything other than this just being a general sponge but it's just like a basic thing I probably wouldn't buy this again I'd probably just buy like a normal sponge but I do give it props because it is really soft on your skin one last purchase that I got well I mean I think this was like one of my freebies um, but it's this sample lipstick. I'm actually wearing it right now. 
Uh, so I actually really, really like this, which is why I'm wearing it right now. I think I've worn it like every day this week. But I really, really, really like it. It's by Marc Jacobs. Not entirely sure what the color is. I literally just like got this thing. Uh, so I do would recommend this. I, I have no idea how much this is. Pretty sure I got it for free. And it's just a sample, but it's really, really, really pretty. I'll apply it on my finger. So that's kind of like the color that you'll get as well as so that is all I'm going to share with you today. I really hope you like my Sephora haul and my recommendations. If you want to see more videos like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all next week. Thank you.